in the last episode I was complaining about my split logs that didn't split too well and uh, they were difficult to clean up. So this is one half of uh, that log and uh, as you can see there's a lot of tear out still. As it split it teared a lot of the fibers deep or too deep into the sides. So this one is actually pretty good. The uh, other one is uh, far worse, too far gone actually. So the other one is uh, started out okay, I thought, but then I realized the whole core is just, or half of the core is, uh, is ripped out of it. You can see here, it's not attached anymore. So that's not usable anymore. Scrap. Second log I tried. That this is the root part or the the first part of the tree. And as you can see, it turned out even worse. This side is probably salvageable, but uh, yeah, it just you can see here that the core is it's not straight in the tree. It's twisting and turning and the grain is also kind of twisty and turny. turny. So yeah, I used kind of a Swedish European method. Follow along for a more Norwegian method. If you haven't seen the first episode, go watch that one. I'm building a log cabin, small log cabin with just an axe, at least no saw or power tools. We've arrived at the spot. Here's the tree. There's uh, three sections here. I'm gonna start with the, um, the upper part, which looks the straightest and without knots and all that stuff. Order of operations. First, I'm gonna cut out a couple of pieces from the rest of this tree and use as, um, as bucks or something to put the log on. Then I'm gonna cut off the section I need and uh, square off the, the ends for better marking. Prepared for celebration or drowning my sorrows if this doesn't work.
Summer has finally arrived in Norway and it's pretty hot for Norway. Now I'm gonna mark uh, the center line through the core, the center of the core, and I'm going to mark two lines about uh, say an inch each, each side of that line. Uh, two lines like that on both ends of the log. And then the Norwegian way happens. You know when you watch YouTube videos and you think things don't take that much time, but they do, this is one of those things. It takes a lot of time. So hopefully this Norwegian method will produce awesome halves, hopefully. There's a lot of tiny mosquitoes too, it doesn't make things any faster or easier. Now I'll have to turn the log and do the same thing on the other side, and then I can start the actual um, arriving or mm, splitting.
done. Now I'll start by gently tapping the axe into this groove all along the way. Then with harder blows and uh, turn. Turn it, do the same on the other side. Then alter between the two sides and it should actually split by itself. Or I'll have to use some wedges. Notice that I've gone all the way into the core here, almost there, but into the core here. So that's a good thing. That's um, then I won't have to deal with the, the sap wood. out of battery here but uh, it is cleaving really nicely the, the one really important part here is that I'm cutting all the small fibers that that are holding the log together if I don't it will tear out pieces and I will be in the same trouble as as last time this is turning out much better than my earlier attempts so even though it's more labor intensive the the process if uh, is more uh, enjoyable because I'm chopping or using the axe not a club on the axe so this is definitely the, the way to go so it seems at least okay I have to save some battery for the victory drink victory looking real good there's some tiny bits of tear out here, but it's just shallow, just shallow. Like this will be much easier to work with than, uh, than my previous previous logs. If you can, if you look here, it has almost perfectly followed the line. Just a slight variation here. Doesn't matter. Oh, same thing here, almost perfectly. Awesome. <sighs> this will be um, a short seance. There's incredibly, there's an incredible amount of tiny, annoying creatures here. <sighs> okay. It's the day after. Uh, I have no time for uh, more processing of the the logs I the log I split uh, yesterday, but I'm doing a little bit of um, of uh, practicing on my hewing, or actually it's not normal hewing. It's more of um, it's called uh, spret hogging or spret tarrying uh, in Norwegian. It's a really old uh, method, which I kind of adapted without even knowing. It was uh, an actual method or documented method. I I'll show you, and um, and I'll also show you something I just realized, which which might be the the root to many of my problems when working with this half uh, this split halves uh, grain orientation or grain direction. I haven't been working much with wood at all, if at all, <laughs> and uh, so I never, I've never worried about grain orientation in wood, but I just, like, I discovered something, which probably is common knowledge for people working with wood. First I'll show you my technique, and I'm working with the grain. Uh, so this is the, one of my scrap logs, or actually it might be usable for something. But um, after examining this log, this is the top end and that's the root end. And the grain runs like this, slightly. There's, the grain is slightly oriented like this, so out 
out of the face slightly. I'll show you what happens when I when I start with the sprit sprit tarrying. Start by going in this direction. So that's with the grain coming out like that. And you can probably already now tell what's gonna happen if I go the other way. And I'll show you. So grain is going this way. Not the best example. There's a lot of irregularities. You notice how things are actually like splitting off, breaking off, because I'm cutting across the grain because of its direction. Now, watch what happens if I go the other way. just starts digging in into the wood I can't get pieces to break off I can if I like cheat and uh, make notches in front here to cut the grain which I've been doing thinking that's the correct way but actually it's the grain orientation like it makes sense doesn't it but if you start cutting with the axe into the surface and the grain is going inwards like this the axe will just keep on digging and start splitting the log which you don't want you want to create a nice like semi even surface uh, that's it's kind of watertight and smooth smooth in the sense of uh, uh, like with the uh, spread tarrying or spread togging it's uh, it's uh, like a scraped surface so it's not actually flat or smooth but it's flat like a scraped surface versus a polished surface that's like how I see it anyways and I really like the look of a of a spread spread hogged surface hell is it doing <laughs> I'm seeing if an ads is something for me this is my crude ads <laughs> they're kind of expensive that's why it's leaving kind of uh, nice marks even though it's terrible and I think it could be a good tool for um, for getting a smooth finish without any tear out I'm going to 
I'm going to try to further refine my technique tomorrow but it seems that even with like grip hogging, spread hogging the old Norwegian style of, um, of hewing uh, where you kind of cut into and out of the wood at the same time even at least with my abilities with that kind of technique I can't get a uh, like a nice smooth finish like this I can like parts can be like that but uh, parts are like this where there's like a little bit of tear out now how important is it to not have that stuff I don't know but uh, I can imagine it's something you don't want to walk on bare barefooted because you will get splinters and I don't want my cabin to give people splinters okay I think this uh, video is long enough thanks for watching see you next time land that I love is the land that I'm working but it's hard to love it all the time your back is a hurt getting too old now to push this here plow please let me lay down so I can look at the clouds take them away Take them away, Lord. Take away these chains from me. My heart is broken because my spirit's not free. Lord, take away these chains from me.